The reason that Donald Trump offers no viable uh, solution to the problems of our country is because he has no intention of doing anything about them. When someone cannot offer you uh, solutions, it's because they have no intentions of doing anything. If he had intent, if his intentions were good for this country, that he actually wanted to do something to make this country great, like he says, to make this make America great again, if he really had the intent to do that, he would offer more solutions than saying Mexico is going to build a wall. And he'd offer more solutions than saying we need to stop all Muslims from coming into the United States. You can't stop all Muslims from coming to the United States because the United States uh, is, um, is the melting pot and all nationalities and all cultures are welcome in the United States. So you're just going to kick out and say one, you know, one sect of people can't come in? You can't do that. And so it's not even reality what he's saying. It's, it's outlandish uh, rhetoric and how people can lap this stuff up is beyond me. I mean, it's amazing to me. I mean, it's, it's absolutely stunning that to hear Donald Trump, um, you know, day after day, week after week, month after month, um, just vomit out this outlandish rhetoric that is not offering any viable solution to the problems in this country. It's, it's ridiculous that he is supposed to be this man of great success, but yet he has no solutions for America. You don't hear him lay out uh, any viable solutions uh, to our problems with our economy. You don't hear him talk about how we need to get rid of the Federal Reserve. You don't hear him talk about how we need to have checks and balances you know, when it comes to um, the the banking industry, you don't hear him talking about the real problems that are corrupting and, and bankrupting America. Why? Because he has no intent on changing anything. I told you this before. Donald Trump is only running for president because he's concerned about the regulations in our country and he wants to change them so that his business can flow better, so that he can have... Uh, easier access to insurance and all these different things that he talks about. He's a businessman and he's out for himself. He's only looking out for Donald Trump. He is. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about the country. You know what he is? He's a big fat liar. He's literally a big fat liar. That's exactly what he is. Donald Trump does not care about Americans. He does not care about the families that are, are in need in this hour. He doesn't care about you. He's only running for his own selfish um, intentions, his own selfish agenda. I'm, you know, I hate to tell you this, but it's the truth, people. He offers no viable solutions, none, absolutely none. And obviously, Hillary Clinton, the same thing. She's not offering any viable solutions because she has no intent of doing anything. Neither side are offering solutions to the problems of this country. Nobody's talked about getting rid of the Federal Reserve. Nobody's talked about checks and balances or, uh, or having oversight. Nobody talks about the real problems. I remember back when George Bush, they were talking about cutting the fat, you know, cutting off the, um, you know, get, being more lean, you know, but they never talked about the real problem. We know what's corrupting America. What's corrupting America is the banking industry, the international bankers that control the Federal Reserve. That's what's corrupting this country. You get rid of the Federal Reserve and you watch how quickly things will turn around in this country. The Federal Reserve, the Bible says the root to all evil is the love of money, right? That's exactly the root to the evil of this country right now. 
That's what's corrupting this country. Money. The love of it. The lust of it. Those that lust after the money, you just follow the money and you'll follow the money right to the problem. Every single time. And that's where the corruption's coming into this country. Well... I haven't heard any solutions from the Trump campaign and what we're going to do about the economy. Have you? Have you heard him mention what he's going to do about solving the problem with the economy? Have you heard Donald Trump say anything about what he's going to do as far as um, dealing with the Federal Reserve and regulating it and um, having oversight over the um you know, the, the, um, the economy and the banking industry, you don't hear anything about that because he's right in there with them. He's in bed with them. He's in bed with the international bankers. He's in bed with them, people. Need I say more? I certainly would like to hear your comments. I'd like to uh, hear what you have to say about this. I'm sure you have a lot to say about this. And this is, you know, this is our forum. This is where you get to be heard, right here. And if you have something really good to say about it, maybe we'll have you on the broadcast and you can say it on the broadcast. But folks, I want you to know, we don't have anybody right now running for president that is offering solutions for this country. You know why? Because nobody has an intent to do anything, to change, to change anything. Um... And I'll tell you what's bringing God's judgment upon America. Same thing that brought it upon Sodom and Gomorrah. And Donald Trump's right in the camp of the LGBT. And he visits the Playboy Mansion all the time. So don't think that Donald Trump, quote unquote, the Republican Donald Trump, he's not a Republican people. He's always been a Democrat. He's a liar. He's a deceiver. He's a big, fat, liar. That's what Donald Trump is.